What are maybe some of the characteristics that you've identified that would make someone a good peacemaker? Anybody can do it. This, what I've learned and what I've developed uh, and what neuroscience brain scanning studies have now shown to why it works the way that it does. It's, a, it's the foundational skill of life. If you're in sales or you're, you're in the people business like you are with set schedule in your company, uh, working with real estate people, um, this is a skill that every single person that works with people needs to have. Because it's not just about de-escalating. It actually it turns out to be much deeper than that. It's about right. validating human beings as they are. And when you validate somebody at the deep level that you can once you master these skills, they will follow you off a cliff. They will be loyal patrons of you for the for the rest of their life. If they're your followers in an organization, they you can you will become the leader that everybody wants to follow. Mm -hmm. If you are a real estate broker or agent and and you do this to your clients, they will refer a business to you like crazy because they feel so good working with you. So it's it it turns out that we I mean the skill the basic skill I developed in 2005 and then the first brain scanning studies came out of UCLA in 2007 out of Lieberman's lab and then we because it was so powerful we made made it one of the foundational skills in the Prison of Peace project where we were able to acid test it over the last 12 years teaching some pretty rough people how to become peacemakers and the thing that happens when you pr start practicing these skills is you're going to you're going to change as a human being you're going to become more authentic you're going to become more self-aware you're going to be able to regulate your emotions better um, you're going to get in touch with your humanity in a way that you've mm. never been before and it, it it will change you as a human being as it has the thousands and thousands of people we've trained in our incarcerated populations so it's pretty powerful